Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to design a part like this in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system where you can create your own 3D models, for example, for 3D printing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do. And if you like my tutorials and would like to thank me for my work, you can support this channel. You can find the link in the description of the video. Now, let's move on to FreeCAD and I will show you how to approach the design of such a part. We will create a new project in the Part Design Workbench and start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Select Create Sketch and choose the XY plane. Draw a circle here with a diameter of 100 mm with the center lying at the origin of the coordinate system. OK, close the sketch. Now, based on the sketch, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. Select the pad operation and add an extrusion of 10 mm, then click OK. Now we will create another fragment of the solid. This time we will create a sketch on this face of the model. Select this face and choose Create Sketch. Let's start by creating reference geometry to the external edge of the solid. Select the Create External Geometry option and select the external edge of the solid. Next, select the Draw Circle option and draw a circle whose center will lie at the origin of the coordinate system and draw a circle of any diameter. Just click the left mouse button anywhere, then right click to cancel the circle drawing command and select these two circles. Now, select the equality constraint and the circle we drew has the same diameter as the diameter of the solid. Then select the draw polyline option and create a polyline so that the starting point of the polyline lies on this circle. Then place the second point of the polyline on the x-axis and the next point of the polyline on this circle. Drawing this geometry is still active so right click and finish drawing this geometry. However, the polyline drawing command is still active so let's draw another polyline in a similar way. OK, now double right click and now we will add dimensions and constraints. First, select this point and this point and add a dimension of 10 millimeters here. Then select this point and this point and add a dimension of 15 millimeters here. Right click to cancel the dimensioning command and select this line and this line, then choose the constraint that specifies these lines are parallel. We will do the same with these lines. Now select this point and this point, and then choose the horizontal vertical constraint. This constraint will make these two points lie in a line. Next, let's add fillets at these corners. Select the fillet command and select this line and this line, then select this line and this line, right click to cancel this command. Select these two radii and choose the equality constraint. Then select one radius and set its value to 7 millimeters. OK, now the dimensioning command is active, so select this line, then select this line and add an angle of 120 degrees here. Right click to cancel the dimensioning command and select the trim geometry command. Select this segment of the circle and these segments of the circle so that only this shape remains here. The sketch is complete. We close the sketch and now, based on this sketch, we will add an extrusion of 25 millimeters. And click OK and this is what we have created. Now select this face and choose Create Sketch. Let's start by creating reference geometry. Select the Create External Geometry command and select this line and this line. 
right click to cancel this command and draw a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters. Right click anywhere to cancel the circle drawing command. Select this point, select this point and select the center of the circle. Then choose the symmetry constraint. Close the sketch and select the pocket operation to create a hole in this face. For the operation type, we select through all and click OK. We will do the same on this face. Select this face, choose create sketch, select the create external geometry command and create reference geometry based on these edges. Draw a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters and place the circle symmetrically between these points. and close the sketch, add a pocket operation through all, and click OK. And this is how we created something like this. Now, with the control key, select the operations in the feature tree that formed this fragment of the solid. This will be the pad operation and two pocket operations. Select here the circular array and enter three as the number of copies. We click OK and we have a solid like this. Here it may seem that these solids are not connected to this base, but it is a matter of display. It is controlled by the refine parameter. If you change the value of this parameter to true, these lines are not visible. We can also change the appearance of the solid. OK, and this is how we created something like this. In this example, I wanted to show you some basic operations of creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. This is where we will finish. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.